hey what's up so now i will show you something very interesting and i think you should keep an eye on that because it's very important as well so this patch when you call it this function it will retain the same thing that have been retained from the action creator you passed to it okay so if you pass an action creator in our case it's a funk action creator it will retain the same thing that have been retained from there so if you remember this will retain a promise which means i can have to then here and let's try to alert success if i am saying true things we should have a success alert when you go of course to dashboard and that is and the promise resolved which means in our redux we have fulfilled right so again go to dashboard on resolved it will be ha we will have an alert because this dispatch will return the same thing returned from the action creator pass to it and in our case it's a promise so let's put to catch and let's alert error but to create an error let's just stop our api okay we have success so let's go to users again to reports let's go to dashboard we have success again we have success there is something wrong the thing here is and it's written in the documentation it's here it's very important the thunks generated by create a sync thunk will always retain a resolved promise either with either the fulfilled action object or rejected action object inside as appropriate okay so let's try to log these things so this is the object this is the object this sorry this is won't be actually activated because this promise won't be uh, rejected but at the same time if have it have it if have if this promise have been rejected the reducer will be called but the catch won't uh, be reached so this is something interesting so let's just console log that object like this So where am I? Okay here. So as you can see, we have this object. This is an error, as you can see. This is the same payload will be passed to the rejected reducer. So go to the so as you can see this is the name message and this is the everything here. The request ID and stuff like that. But what we care about, this is the error. This is what will be passed to the reducer, to the reject reducers, the reducer. But as you can see, we get it inside the then, which means the, pro the problems have been resolved. So, to handle this thing, they expose a, a function called unwrap result. So what you need to do is just the following. So unwrap result, then handle it like this. And let's just check what will happen. This will fix everything so import from the redux toolkit and our result function which retains a promise and just pass it here and now let's see what will happen let's just go here let's just uh, go to the reports and it just hit refresh let's just start from the beginning now, if we click dashboard previously without the unwrap result function, we should see a console log with the object, which is which holds the error, and that's confusing. But now with the unwrap result, this will actually throw an error and go to the catch, and we have console log error. And actually, let's just console log now the object inside the catch. So console log, and let's call it error like this and let's check it out we should see it as you can see here is the exact message uh, we saw and it's the same one that will be passed to the rejected user this one here which is very nice so i think this is very very important because most of the time you will need to do something after dispatch or after something have been resolved and after something have been rejected in your component so maybe you have used a state or something. Yeah, so I think this is very important. And uh, um, yeah, so I think the next thing we need to handle some errors.